Welcome to this week's edition of the Bronco Weekly Sports Wrap. I'm Lauren Matheson. And I'm John Nash. Well, Lauren, big news on the Mission campus here as your women's soccer team has secured an NC2A tournament berth and you guys are going to play Long Beach State Saturday right here on the Mission campus, 1 o'clock. How excited are you? <laughs> We're all really excited, especially to be playing a home game. Our very own Callie Rice and Paige Robertson got the inside scoop. Thanks, Lauren and John. The team got together Monday afternoon to watch the selection show for the NCAA tournament. We found out we have a game this Saturday, and today I'm here with Julie Johnston and Meliana Shim to talk a little bit about our game coming up. So, Julie, after watching the selection show, what was your initial reaction? Um, we were hoping to be a seeded team, but that's not what happened. Um, we're playing Long Beach State, which we know they're a good team. I happen to play them my freshman year, so it's kind of um, comforting knowing it, that we're going to be playing a team that we have been playing before. Um, it's also elimination round. Um, you lose, you're out, and we know that. So I think we're going to take that um, into practice and um, really make sure that we focus on what we need to do to go further on in this tournament. Thanks, Julie. Meliana, so you've been to the NCAA tournament. This is going to be your fourth time. So what, what are your expectations for your senior year? Um, we always have high expectations, but um, we, we try to do everything the same every year, and that's focus on one game at a time, um, really come together as a team, and play for each other. That's basically what it comes down to. Paige Robertson here with head coach Jerry Smith of the women's soccer team. Um, coach Smith, this is your 23rd NCAA tournament. Um, can you talk about our team's bid this year? Well, obviously we're very happy to make the NCAA tournament. Um, yeah, this is 23 out of the last 24 years for the program, so I'm very proud of that and proud of the team this year. You know, we uh, we made it back to the NC tournament. Uh, we did well enough to get a home game in the, in the first match here against Long Beach State, um, and I'm sure the team will be very much looking forward to the game as I am. Thank you. Back to you, Lauren and John. Hey, good luck this weekend against Long Beach State. It's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> Thanks, John. Well, men's soccer finishes up their WCC play this weekend against LMU and USD. They actually have a chance to win the WCC title, so go Broncos. Yeah, good luck to the men's <laughs> soccer team. The women's basketball team picked up two nice exhibition wins over Sonoma State and UC Santa Cruz this past week. They now will play UC Irvine, their season opener, opener right here in the Levy Center on Friday night and then host top five Stanford on Sunday afternoon. I had a chance to talk with Coach Mountain about the upcoming weekend. All right, Coach, this weekend, UC Irvine and Stanford right here in the Levy Center. What is your focus and expectations for the team uh, this upcoming weekend? Well, really to focus on ourselves, um, to kind of put into play what we've worked on and our points of emphasis you know, for the season, and that's defensively and really working the boards. Um, we really feel like we got to improve in both of those areas you know, to be at the top of the WCC, which is where we want to be. So you know, Friday's our first task. We get to go live um, other than a, you know, an exhibition game, and I expect our core group to really come out and, and perform well. We have high expectations for ourselves, and we have a great chance against Irvine and then having Stanford in here on Sunday. Um, great chance for our program um, on our floor and for our fans, to be honest with you. Well, great, Coach. Thanks a lot, and good luck this weekend. Thanks, John. Be sure to make it out to the Levy Center this weekend to support your women's basketball team. Well, hey, Lauren, the men's water polo team will close out their regular season this weekend. It's going to be senior day. We only have two seniors, myself and C.J. Dorenzo. So come on out at 12 o'clock on Sunday. We're playing number 16 UC Davis. Should be a lot of fun and uh, support the Broncos. And it's your last game. That's so sad. How do you feel about that? Time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> of course it does. Well, women's volleyball picked up two great wins this past weekend against USF and University of Portland. Our very own Allie Rambis caught up with her teammates to talk about the weekend and this upcoming weekend. Thanks, guys. I'm here with Lexi Williamson and Chelsea Heyer. We're fresh off of a great weekend with two big wins against USF and Portland. Lexi, tell us about those games. It was a really great weekend for us going 2-0 in conference, especially coming off a win off of San Diego. Um, a bunch of our players did really well this weekend, especially our passers, Taylor Milton, Catherine Douglas, and Katie Schatzman. When they do well, it sets up a lot of success for the rest of our team. And also beating USF was great. We haven't beat them since my freshman year. And also getting a win on their home court was extra special. Yeah, it was a really great weekend, and we're also coming up with two big games against USF on Thursday and BYU on Saturday. Chelsea, what have we been working on in the gym this week? You know, we're just working on getting pumped for this weekend and finding that energy that we need to win. Um, right now, we're taking it one game at a time and focusing on USF. We're specifically working on our passing still to keep it consistent like it has been the past few games, and also looking at USF's, USF's blocking 
to um, see what different plays we can run because um, it only has been one week since we've played them, so they really know how to scout us well. Yeah. Well, thanks, guys, and don't forget to catch our games against USF on Thursday and BYU on Saturday. Hey, Lauren, the men's basketball team opens up their regular season this weekend with Simpson on Saturday. And Denzel talked to Kevin Foster while John MacArthur had a conversation with the bigs about this upcoming weekend. Thanks, Lauren and John. Denzel Johnson here. I'm here with Kevin Foster on our men's basketball team. Kevin, fifth year senior, so last go around. You excited for this year? Yeah, definitely excited. I mean, we had a really good offseason. Team really worked hard, got stronger, got faster. We all have been in the gym all summer just waiting for this opportunity to get back on the court and ready to take advantage of it. As, as you become a senior, has your leadership role increased? Is that something that Coach Keaton has talked to you about? Uh, I mean, it hasn't increased because we have five seniors on the team this year, and, and you know, it's, it, we're all working together as a team, as seniors, to lead because we don't have that many young players. But, again, everybody needs some, uh, some help every now and then, and the five seniors are there just to – to make sure that everybody's doing the right thing at the right time. As you said, we had a really good off season. Uh, is there any expectation that you might have individually or just as a team for us this year? You know what? Individual accolades are really not any of my concern right now. I'm really, I'm just trying to, to help the team win. I mean, we need to get as many wins as we can this year. I want to have, have it be a great season for Santa Clara and give the fans really something to look forward to. Yeah, I'm excited for that. So you want to tell me what was your favorite album that dropped this year? Favorite album that dropped? I have to say, uh, God forgives and I don't. Okay, Ricky, Ricky Rose. Rose. Okay, okay. Rose. <laughs> what about mixtapes? Your favorite mixtape? Mixtape. Uh, I had the same Dream, Dream Chasers Two by Meek Mill. Dream Chasers Two. Yep. Okay, a little little summer, a little summer fire. Yeah, okay. you know. All right. You heard it from Kevin Foster. He's excited for this year. I'm excited. Go get that God Forgives I Don't. Ricky Rose, that's his favorite. He likes Meek Mill. Yeah, if you check his iPod, uh, it's there. I've seen it. And now we got a chance for John MacArthur to catch up with a few of the postmen. Hi, I'm John MacArthur, and I'm here with Robert Garrett. What's happening? <laughs> and Yannick Atanga. What up? So coming up, we have pretty, pretty big games coming up. Practice been going well. Our first big official game on Saturday against Simpson. We're really looking forward to it. Big Rob, how do you feel about this game upcoming? Uh, I feel excited for, uh, for the chance to open up the season, get back on the floor. <laughs> how about you, Yannick? Uh, just like Rob just said, I'm really excited about it. You know, we've been working so hard since uh, last spring, and we're all looking forward to that first game. I know us bigs are really excited to have Mark Trasolini back. It's good to get him back in down there, banging with the bigs, and ha we're having fun in practice. Rob, what can you tell us about Mark being back? Um, Mark being back is um, actually keeping me on my toes. He's a very hard player to guard because he's able to uh, dribble the ball as well as work down the post. So it's actually been helping me uh, work on my footwork. So, Yannick, with this upcoming game on Saturday, what are some of your goals for the game? Uh, I think win, win it. You know, we just want to go out there and try to win our first game, first official game. We're all about trying to win that game. So I think we're going to do what we, whatever we can to win that game. I couldn't agree more with these guys. We're really excited to get this first game going during the season, kind of forget last year and have a whole new chapter to open up. Well, thank you. I'm John MacArthur. Now here's back to John and Lauren. Lauren, I'll see you out here Saturday night, and good luck on Saturday afternoon against Long Beach Thanks, State. Thanks, John. I hope you really enjoy your senior day, too. Thanks, Lauren. That's going to be it for this week's edition of the Bronco Weekly Sports Wrap. Go Broncos!